uh, we're going to be reviewing <laughs> Stranded. Part Yay! Woo! We're going to be reviewing the first two episodes of Stranded Part 1 of two parts of the first two parts. <laughs> This is not confusing everybody. <laughs> this is a moment out there. Uh, Stranded, uh, Big Finish, if you haven't heard it, uh, it stars Paul McGann as the Eighth Doctor. Uh, it also has Tom Baker as the curator and many, many more people over there. And I don't know, you can just see it on the screen out there. So check it out out there. And we got to give you a warning. Spoilers. I like that word. I thought you might. We're going to be talking about it big time. We're going to be reviewing the first two episodes, which is uh, Lost Property and Wild Animals. And then next week, we will be reviewing Must See TV and Divine Intervention. But we're going to start with these two episodes. Now, for those of you who are just joining us and don't know how we do the rating scale, uh, we came up with this really scientific, off-the-wall, off-the-chart type scale. One TARDIS being horribly bad, 10 TARDISes being awesome. But just tell us what you rated Lost Property and Wild Animals in that order. Lost Property, I gave it a solid eight. Got it an eight. eight. Okay. Wild Animals. I was thinking Wild Arms for a second there. I'm like, what was the title? <laughs> I gave it a 7.5. <laughs> 7.5. So we cut a TARDIS in half, as we normally do around here. Yeah. <laughs> the universe implodes out there. Melanie, what did you rate uh, Lost Property? Lost property. I'm similar to Mackenzie. I give it a nine. Just enamored. Loved it. Gotcha. As for so, wild animals, I'm yeah. giving it an eight because again, an I'm eight. a little biased. I liked both episodes, so it's equally. I believe just this stranded one is was uh, won an award. It's award winning, so it's an amazing, mm -hmm. amazing, amazing, amazing piece of for a four story arc. However, I liked one a little bit more than the other. I've got it backwards from everyone apparently. Okay. okay. I, I give lost property a seven. You give okay. Lost Property a seven. And Wild Animals an eight, eight and a half. Interesting. Okay. I really liked Stranded One as a whole so far. There were some increases that just for me, it took me out of the story. I really liked the mystery that was starting to build up on, onto what is it that everybody's seen that it seems to be in the background, but yet some people can see it, some people can't. I like that. Mm -hmm. I loved having Tom Baker back in as the creator and having that story having him actually working with people and interacting with the community to see how his role is. I love that. The thing that I didn't like was I felt that we kind of lost the, the doctor, honestly, in the series. He felt a little bit too obsessed over when he lost his TARDIS that he became a little bit narcissistic where he just was so disconnected with everything. And that for me, that threw me out. And I was like, man, mm -hmm. I was really happy that this story mostly followed the companions because of that. Otherwise, if it had followed the doctor, I'm not sure I would have given it as high as it did. It's the first one in this series that had a lot of things it had to develop. Mm -hmm. It's not that it was bad. I still really enjoyed it. I'm kind of, it's a bit of a bell curve type rating there. Um, you had to, they had to introduce an entire cast because this is a, a more of an ensemble yeah. type show. Uh, compared to most Doctor Who things, right? Uh, and I think that was really well done. I love the new characters that are coming in. It also, because it does come, there is a continuity to Big Finish. Mm -hmm. And that's the, always been the biggest complaint, and they're addressing that going forward, is where do you start with, with Big Finish? Well, I've listened to a lot of the Eighth Doctor stuff. I right. really have. I have not listened to the ones immediately preceding this. So I'm like, wait, what? Like they don't yeah, really because, go spoiler, into how they got there. Yeah, spoilers. There's an incident that puts that quote unquote makes the TARDIS stranded in the previous story. So not knowing that going into this story, you're kind of at a loss schedule. Were, were you able to pick up on that later on, Dave? Or were, were, well, were for the most part? Of, I mean, it's yeah. I, it, I still don't have the details of it, but you just it comes a point where you go right. They're there. Done. <laughs> I gave it a nine because I thought this was absolutely amazing because I, ever since the 50th anniversary, I have been a huge fan of the curator. I wanted to know more about the curator. There was like little bits and pieces of asides um, that you, that he said during his um, 
during, but you saw on screen between the curator and the, you know, the ele- the ele- doctor of the, you know, just, you know, just the f- more familiar faces. So you're kind of yeah. in that, is he the doctor? Is he not the doctor? And to me, Big Finish really did a little bit more of that kind of play where he didn't say, there's so many, so many just asides of the, yes, he knows what the box is. I remember what the box used to be for. And, and then him going the with, with the, in, in regards to, it's empty. They can't get into the TARDIS. It's people are kind of using it as a free library, which is again, very, something very, very, very grounded in 2020 where you have an empty spot, just throw books in there and people are borrowing books. And he's like, Oh, it makes sense for, for that. Cause this, this, this old box has always been filled with stories. And I just was like, ah, I love that part too. Like, I- but there's a, there's different parts where he walks away and, you know, he says goodbye to, you know, bye Helen, bye Liv. And then after the fact, they're like, how did he know our names? On top of all the amazing things with the curator with the story, I thought it was well written in that, yes, I kind of just assumed of the, okay, well, something must have happened where he doesn't have his sonic screwdriver. He doesn't have, they barely got out of the TARDIS, you know, not alive, but in time. Um, So there was a lot of stuff where they kind of mentioned a something else must must have just happened. And knowing that, hey, I'm listening to Big Finish, I guess I'm going to have to go back and figure out which one kind of butt up against this. And wild animals well it's pretty much the same thing as i said before having to do with a lot of it having to do with the doctor being just not the doctor just did not feel to me like the doctor i loved all the action that was going on there the suspense that you could see that the writing was being elevated that things were becoming more suspenseful we were more wanting to go diving into this show varying out what's going on and all that but then we have the doctor that just He's very disconnected because he's obsessed with getting this TARDIS that is uh, dead on arrival, I guess you could say. For comparing this story to the first one, I like the first one because I thought it was a better, a stronger ensemble cast. Again, my love for the curator knows, knows no bounds. Da, 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 da. This one I dropped down because you're not going to see the, cre- the, I didn't see the curator, but the doctor was a little bit different in here and that he felt like a wounded animal on the flip side. It was amazing to watch the doctor have these shackles on him of going, sorry, you're a normal person right now. So why is this episode better than the first? For all of the same reasons, Melanie didn't like them. (laughs) 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 You know, he's got this goes completely manic trying to figure out what, what, is happening how he can do what he always does he's the doctor he saves the day he mm-hmm. saves everybody he does not save everybody mm-hmm. right well it's my turn <laughs> to give a rating yeah. for both uh lost property and wild animals popcorn i don't i don't i've got yeah exactly i don't want anybody to think that this is mean or rude or anyway because i want to make Get sure i get this all straight Shut it. <laughs> Shut, it Sorry, down right now. Shut it out right now. Nope. Okay. I gave them both seven and a half stars. Now, here's the reason why. I think it's an awesome idea, and I hated it <laughs> just because of all the things that you guys had mentioned. I, I'm so used to a big finish being exciting and g- g- completely going full of energy and for Stranded, I just, it was hard for me to adapt to it. It literally was like watching a, a soap opera and somehow making the doctor a part of that soap opera. I, I guess I am so accustomed to Big Finish being the way that it is. When you get something like this, it's hard to just appreciate it for what it was. But as we get further into uh, episode three and four, I think that might, I'm hoping that everything works out and I can understand and appreciate the story better. But with the first two episodes, it was kind of hard. We are going to be doing the second two episodes of this. Go over to big finish, pick up stranded one, Mm -hmm. one, because there is two stranded one Mm -hmm. and listen to, well, now you have to listen to all four because the two we just did and the two we're going to do next week. Stay on brand Christian. I know. I know. (laughs) 